<clears throat> Good afternoon. Welcome to Friday's Inside Look by Brooks. Steve Brooks here in this beautiful uh, Florida Friday. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous Chamber of Commerce weather. So uh, a couple of personal things going on with me. My, my wonderful niece, uh, Blair, is getting married tomorrow to her longtime boyfriend, Lee. And we are all looking forward to that. We have a lot of family in town, and uh, it's going to be an exciting time for our family. Um, secondly, I wanted to talk a lot about a topic that's kind of personal to me. Um, I have sleep apnea, and um, it just so happens that today I was <clears throat> being refitted with a, a new machine and a new mask. Um, so sleep apnea is... Um, is a condition, if you don't know what it is, where the uh, soft tissue of the throat closes at night that causes you to gasp for, for air when you're sleeping and, um, and snore. And it, it's a very dangerous condition. I remember there was a, uh, a football defensive end for the Green Bay Packers, Reggie White, who actually was in his 40s and uh, didn't wear his uh, CPAP machine one night and he actually died. Um, so the way they treat it is they give you a machine that um, you have a mask and you um, it, it blows it <clears throat> blows air to keep the the throat open so there's no obstruction and um, so it is a it's a dangerous thing but easily treatable. Where as personal injury attorneys we we see. The, the, the problem, if, if you have sleep apnea and you don't, you don't treat it with a uh, CPAP machine, you can sleep all night, but really not sleep. And I'll give you an example. When I had my sleep study, I believe I woke up 44 times an hour. Um, and, they, and it's called, uh, you don't remember it, it's retrograde memory loss. So you actually will wake up momentarily and go right back to sleep. And consequently, you never get that deep REM sleep. And so you're never rested and you're, you're tired throughout the day. <clears throat> Some people fall asleep with the wheel driving. And so um, in, in our personal injury practice, that's obviously one thing we look for, especially in the people that are driving long distances, uh, sometimes truck drivers, you know, where we, we're going to want to look at their um, their sleep, you know, their medical history to see if they have sleep apnea, and then to look at their um, sleep records to see if they're compliant and using their machine. Uh, that can absolutely play into um, someone actually falling asleep at the wheel. So. Um, I was refitted for a new machine today, so I'm going to have the, the best and the, the greatest and the latest uh, equipment, so I'm looking forward to that. But um, other than that, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy weekend. I hope that um, you enjoy yourselves. We are going to have a great time. Uh, Blair's wedding tomorrow is going to be outside, and there's only a 10% chance of rain, so uh, we're all keeping our fingers crossed. Uh, but I'm very sure it's going to be a, a wonderful affair. So thanks for joining me, and I will see you next Friday for Friday's Inside Look by Brooks.